Good morning. Um, I'm in my bed. And um, I'm off today. So my hair looks terrible. I don't care. And um, I'm going to rest today. Don't feel like getting on the computer to do anything. Like, literally, I don't. But um, my house is a mess. My kitchen is a mess. Everything is a mess right now. I have broken hair. But um, today is just a lazy day. And my only day off. Need to rest. And um, I'm going to get on social media soon. But today, I got all kinds of stuff going on my face. So sorry. So, uh, yeah, um, I normally do my videos on my juicing. But this morning, I was lazy. I didn't do any type of juicing today. And I'm very sorry. So, I'm going to do more videos on a lot of stuff. It's going to be old videos that I'm going to post later on. Um, yeah. Um, just get on my channels and just go through them and look through a lot of stuff that I put on there in the past. And just subscribe and if you like them or just comment on whatever oh i like to hear i like to see the comments and see what y'all say about my videos i have very, very old videos but i do have some stuff that i want to post later on so um yes yeah, so um i'm going to continue to do some type of funny videos i'm gonna try my oldest son is not here with me now he's moved to Colorado. He's in Colorado Springs having a good old time sending me pictures. And if you would like to go to my Instagram page, um, you can look me up on Instagram as well. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the world. You know, things happening to people, especially our black men. And I want to put that out there. Our black men are so very intimidating to white people, especially the white men. I don't know why. They think we all do drugs, and we don't. And um, some of us does do drugs. And that makes it bad on the ones that does not do drugs. And they're killing us even more. They're killing us even more to get us off the streets. Our black men are very targeted now in these days. It has been for a long time, you know, God bless Ivory Soul and Floyd that just died Monday. You know, he was murdered. Ivory was murdered right here in our own town. I live 40, well, 30 minutes from Brunswick, Georgia. Um, I live 30 minutes from Brunswick, Georgia. And just to hear news like that, that went worldwide, was just crazy. But not crazy, but... It needed to be heard. And he did not deserve to die. And Floyd, Mr. Floyd didn't deserve to die the way he died. You know, people are so cruel and nasty. And you would think that our police officer will, is here to protect and serve us. They're not here to protect and serve us. You know, I called the police on so one of my neighbors and I don't care if my neighbor hear me. I don't care if my neighbor know. But I was trying to help whatever was going on over there. And instead of them helping my situation of the noise that was going on, they decided they wanted to bother my son. Like they always was doing was since I've been here. They've been messing with him. And so, uh, you know, because he's black, he's 20 years old, he's a handsome guy. And they decided they want to just keep bothering with my son. He smokes weed. So what? He's 20 years old. And look, um, he's chilling by himself in his van and just doing whatever. And they was always intimidating him at the park. He was reading at the park, listening to music by himself. You got neighbors that just didn't like what he was doing. They was afraid of him. Seemed like, I don't know why he wasn't bothering nobody, but just at his van. Police officer was bothering with him then, you know, whatever. Bothering with him, and I called the police with somebody else. They bothered with him at his van. Besides, even the neighbor that got taken away for a little while, but then he's back. So, whatever. I'm running my own business for now on. I don't care. And uh, so now my son is on the road. He's traveling. He's got a job. And he's doing his thing. He's away from here out of Camden County. Yes, I'm living in Camden County, whoever knows me. 
Hello. So yeah, um, today is my laser day. So I just wanted to share that about black men and how we are all intimidated by people that just don't like us. We just have different skin color. We all same into God's eyes. Our blood runs the same into God's eyes. You know, we just have different color. And we are very unique people. We are very smart. But you likes to bother us. But, you know, I'm not going to stay on that subject. But anyway, just look at my videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to post some stuff later on. You know, and I'm still going to be thinking about our black men at the same time while I'm doing my thing. You know, I haven't forgot. You know, I posted something on Facebook, and you know, it was the lady was talking about um about um um our Amon, and um I made a comment on there about it because she was saying that everybody's on here TikToking and they doing their own thing. They're not even worrying about what's going on with the black community. We are, we are worrying about what's going on in the black community, but at the same time, we still have to live our lives. We still have to go on to do what we got to do. You know, we can't stop nothing from going on, but only thing we could do is just voice our opinion. We could voice things, but we can't stop nobody from shooting nobody. We have to keep going on with our lives. I get up every morning to go to work, and I have to look around and go to my car because I'm black. I got people that lives around me that's um, they white. You know, they they military, and I got one strange person that's always outside smoking a cigarette. And every time I go to my car, he's weird. He's a weirdo. You know, I don't know what's wrong with him, but. I just pray to God, you know, to protect me as I go to my car. And that's one thing that's black people that needs to do. We need to pray. We need to keep God in our path. We need to keep God on our mind all the time. But when <clears throat> Floyd was on that ground, when he was on that ground, he called out. He was calling out for help. But the one thing I did not hear him say, he did not call out on Jesus. He called his mama. And I'm not putting him down at all. But you know what? When we are in trouble... You call on Jesus. That's who you're supposed to call on. You call on Jesus. And when you're in trouble, that's mama can't save you. Daddy can't save you. The preacher can't save you. The only thing the preacher can do is give you a word to call on Jesus. That's what you do. You call on Jesus when you are in a time of trouble, when you are in trouble with the law, anything, any, anything, anything that happens to you. The person that you're supposed to call on is Jesus. God, help me. Help me, Lord Jesus, to get me out of this situation. When you get ready to get in an accident, first thing come out your mind, oh, Jesus. Jesus, help me. You might not have time, but this, your mind, your heart, is when Jesus needs to be at. You know, a lot of us don't live the life that we're supposed to live, but you know what? Jesus is always going to be on my mind every day. Jesus is always going to be on my mind. I just have to thank God every day for waking me up in the morning to see another day. I have to pray for my children because I have three boys. My oldest is is 20. My second one is 12 years old, and I have a 7-year-old also. I pray for my boys every day because I don't want nothing to happen to them. But you know what? One day we're going to have to leave this world some kind of way. Floyd and Aubrey might have left this world that way. We don't know what God had in plan for them how they was going to leave this earth. But it was wrong. It was cruel to our eyes is in this world how it went. It was wrong. But when we in trouble, we call on Jesus. Black men out there, you listen to me, black men, black boys. When you're in trouble, call on God. Not your mama, not your daddy, no family members. Call on God. That's who's going to protect you. That's who's going to save you. I'm going to end that note. Look at my channels again. Like I said, subscribe, share, like, thumbs down, thumbs up, whatever you want to do. I just want to see it. I'm just trying to get a lot of views. I'm just trying to get a lot of subscribers. Hey, look, I'm ready to sit home, sit down. I'm tired of getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm quite sure everybody else do the same thing. One day we're going to get there. I'm going to get there one day. I know everybody else probably got there, but you know what? I want to be happy. That's all I want to be. Happy in Jesus.